This lesson we want to solve systems of equations using the addition method. There are at least four methods for solving a system of linear equations. We have the graphing method, substitution, linear combinations or addition subtraction, and finally matrices. This lesson we will be focusing on the linear combination or addition subtraction method. Our strategy will be to eliminate one of the letters by adding a number with its opposite. Let's look at a first example. Equation 1, x minus 2y equals 11. Equation 2, 2x minus 3y equals 18. We would like to add these two equations together, but as they are, nothing will cancel out. Suppose we had a negative 2 up here. Suppose we had a negative 2x and we added these together, then we would wind up with 0x. So let's multiply the entire first equation by negative 2. This would give us negative 2x negative 2 times negative 2y is plus 4y and negative 2 times 11 is negative 22. By the way, it's common for many students to forget to multiply the negative 2 times the number term. Let's recopy the second equation exactly as it is. Now we go to add these two equations together. Negative 2x plus 2x is 0x. So these, this term is eliminated. 4y minus 3y is 1y negative 22 plus 18 is negative 4. So our y value is negative 4. Let's take the easier of the first two equations. The first one looks a little easier to me. So I'm going to take x minus 2, equation 1 here. I'm going to replace the y value of negative 4 to figure out what the x value is. Negative 2 times negative 4 is positive 8. Subtract 8 from both sides of the equation. x equals 3. So the answer, we have 3 for x and negative 4 for y. That's the point where these two lines meet. Because there's one point, we say this system is consistent. Let's now consider a second example. 3x minus 4y equals 12. 5x plus 2y equals negative 6. Once again, we'd like to add these together and make either the x's or y's disappear. And the x's don't look very promising. So let's look at the y's. Negative 4y plus 2y. Notice that 4 is a multiple of 2. So if we had a 4y down here, positive 4y, and we added negative 4y and positive 4y, we get 0. So let's multiply the entire second equation by, how do you get from 2 up to 4? We multiply by 2. So let's multiply each of the second equation by 2. 2 times 5x is 10x. 2 times 2y is plus 4y. 2 times negative 6 is negative 12. Let's recopy the first equation because we already have our negative 4y, which looks like will be helpful. We add these together. Notice negative 4y plus 4y cancels out. So we have 13x equals 0. Divide by 13. x equals 0. Let's take the first equation again. Replace x with 0 this time. And we now we fi need to figure out the value of y. So we have negative 4y equals 12. Divide both sides by negative 4. So y equals negative 3. Our answer will be x is 0. y is negative 3. And that's the coordinates of the point where these two lines meet. And once again, since we have a nice xy answer, we say the system is, is consistent. Finally, let's consider 2x plus 3y equals 13 and 3x minus 2y equals 0. Notice there's no multiple. M multiples of 2 or 4, 6, 8. It doesn't seem to work. I'm going to focus on the y's because the top one's positive when the bottom one is negative. What number do both 3 and 2 divide into evenly? Suppose we end up with a positive 6 here and a negative 6 here. That would make the y's cancel out. So how do I get from 3y to 6y? I have to multiply the first equation by a positive 2. 2 times 2x is 4x. 2 times 3y is plus 6y. 2 times 13 is 26. The second equation, I have negative 2y and I want negative 6. What do I need to multiply by? 3. 3 times 3x is 9x. 3 times negative 2y is negative 6y. 3 times 0 is 0. Please notice we're always looking for this magic combination where we have a positive and negative, the same number for a letter. So if we add these together, the y's disappear. 4x's plus 9x's is 13x's. 
26 plus 0 is 26. Divide both sides by 13. x equals 2. So let's go back to our first equation. 2 times our x value, which is 2, plus 3y equals 13. 2 times 2, we have 4, plus 3y equals 13. Subtract 4 from both sides of our equation. 3y equals 9, divide by 3, so y equals 3. So our answer will be x is 2, and y is 3, solving this system of equations using the addition-subtraction method.